Well, welcome back, everyone. You know, the family that pushed for a new Pennsylvania law that encourages seizure training in schools will be honored tonight. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with more on the family and their mission. They are on this mission, that's for sure. You know, the Epilepsy Foundation says more teachers need to learn how to recognize seizures in children and then know what to do. It's a mission they say can save lives. Nine-year-old Dominic Rosanini has learned to live with epilepsy that started when he was three. He went from totally fine to developing six different seizure types. He was having up to a thousand seizures a day. He was seizing every 30 seconds. His mom, Jessica, says Dominic's seizures are now under control with a special diet designed for children with his rare type of epilepsy that has no known cause. Does it hurt? No. No. Does it make you feel funny? Sometimes. Sometimes. Here's what his seizures looked like. There are many Dominic. different kinds. Most are not typical convulsions. Dominic. That's a seizure. Do you see his eyes kind of fluttered? That was a seizure. Here's another one where Dominic sort of spaces out. How little I knew as a former teacher terrifies me. Dominic's mom and grandmother are both teachers who pushed for a new law passed in Pennsylvania to train teachers how to recognize and respond to epileptic seizures. It's called the Dominate Epilepsy Law, named after Dominic. So with this law, people can know how to be prepared. Zoe Heller with the Epilepsy Foundation Eastern Pennsylvania says teachers need to know what to do if a student seizes. And you want to make sure that they're on the side. And it's also important not to put anything in their mouth. The Epilepsy Foundation says one in 26 Americans will develop epilepsy at some point in their lifetime. Um, it's a lot more common than most people realize. The Chester County family is now working to amend the law to mandate seizure training for school personnel. Just being educated and knowing how to respond could save a child's life. <laughs> <laughs> Now, about a third of Americans with epilepsy have seizures that can't be controlled because existing medications and treatments don't work. We have a lot more information about all of this for you at CBSPhiladelphia.com. Dominic and his family are terrific, and I'm so happy they're going to be honored tonight oh, for yes. all their hard work. Thumbs up right I back know. at you, Dom. That's right. Well-deserved, yeah. too. Thanks. Uh -huh. I appreciate it.